Hey guys, welcome back. Guess what? Jackie's cooking. Guys, today we're going to make something that's so good. It's so juicy. Oh my God. It's some Haitian grill, also known as marinated fried pork. Oh my God, I love this. It's so good. Such a staple in Haiti. Uh, well, you know what? Let's get to it. Well, remember we had cleaned our pork before the other segment. So right now we're going to season it. Okay, we're going to use about three to five heaping spoonfuls of green seasoning, also known as Haitian hippies. I'll show you how to do that later on, how to make this. Okay. It's really delicious. It's the base for all cooking. We're going to use some sour orange. If you don't have fresh, you can always use one in the bottle, okay? So with this, we're going to use about three heaping spoonfuls of our sour orange, okay? It's really, really good. It just brings a lot of, it goes good with pork. I know that much. It really does, okay? We just want to get a lot of flavor, acidity into our meat, okay? Now, we're just going to sit up here and we're going to add these flavors into our pork. We really, really want to flavor it. We want it to be delicious and we want it to be juicy. Okay? So now I'm going to take one whole lime. We're going to squeeze that and we're going to squeeze it into our pork. Well, you might notice that I used only a half a lemon. Okay? But I did go back eventually and add that other half. Okay, so I would definitely use one lemon or lime, freshly squeezed, okay? Yeah, make sure guys to hold your hands so the seeds won't fall in, okay? Okay, now guys, this is where we're going to start doing some seasoning. Again, all this is based on your discretion, okay? So I'm gonna put in a pack of sasson. I use one that's with the culantro y agiote. Okay, that's the one I like to use. Uh, I just like the color, the vibrancy that it gives it. Okay, so one pack is good, all right? And we're gonna use some thyme. Again, fresh is better. If you can get a bundle of fresh thyme leaves, that's fine, but because we're quarantined and I'm using what I have in my house, so I used about a good uh, spoonful, heaping spoonful, okay? I'm using what I got. That's what you got to do, because I'm not going outside. We're under quarantine, so you got to do with what you got, okay? Now, we're going to use some seasoning salt, okay? You could use adobo, if you have adobo. Um, you could also use Maggie Cube. Some people use Maggie Cube. I, I would use it, but I don't have Maggie Cubes in my house. Again, I'm using what I have available, and it's going to be just as delicious, okay? Then, we're going to put some cloves. Cloves are very good. I mean, when you bite into it, ugh, it has like this licorice-y kind of taste, but it gives food nice flavor. But you don't want to eat it. You just need it for the flavor. So, we're going to use about 10 to 13 cloves. We're going to put in some black pepper, okay? Now, you can put as much as you want on your discretion, um, but I'm going to put in about two teaspoons of black pepper, okay? You can use less, or you can put in a little more. Again, you're going to use this technique to tweak it the way you want to, okay? This is what this channel is about, getting the basics, putting your feeling into the food and creating your own masterpiece, okay? Now, I'm going to use about a good tablespoon, one heaping tablespoon of crushed garlic, okay? 
okay? I need garlic. I need garlic. Some people don't like garlic, but I like it. If you don't like it, okay, you can leave it out, but I like it because garlic, I don't know how people do without garlic, but that's me, okay? So a good tablespoon of garlic. Nice and crushed, okay? And that is going to give flavor. And I'm going to get some Jamaican hot peppers. These I already had sliced, but if you could get them whole, you could add one or two whole Jamaican peppers. But again, you could slice it, you know, or don't prick it because you don't want all that heat. Depending on how spicy you want it. Let's put it like that, okay? Now we're just mixing this. You could use a spoon. I like to use my hands. My hands are clean. I'm going to eat it. My husband's going to eat it. Trust me, my hands are clean, okay? But you can use a spoon. Just don't try to rub your eyes in any kind of way, because girl, boy, you will be screaming. Okay? So again, just massage it. Get all those flavors in. And again, guys, you're going to let this marinate. I would let this marinate for about a good four hours or even better overnight, okay? But you could just marinate like this and just put it on the stove if you want to cook it quickly, okay? So we're going to put it on the stove for about a good hmm, medium. I want to add about a half a cup of water for now, um, depending on how much liquid that was already coming from the pork and all the other acidities that we were adding into it. Um, about, a, about a half a cup to a cup, okay? And now we're gonna cover it and let it boil, okay? So now after 10 to 15 minutes, it's gonna start to boil, okay? And what's gonna happen, of course, you know, now you can start tasting to see if you have enough salt, you know, if it's, you know, if you need to adjust any flavors and so forth, okay? And the water is going to reduce. I mean, the broth is going to reduce. So, um, keep your eye on it, okay? And if it gets really low, then you add some more water. That's why I said about a half a cup to a cup of water, okay? Okay, now it's 55 minutes later. Okay, and this is the reduction of the broth. Do not throw this broth away, because I'm going to show you what to do later on with it. Okay, that's going to go great with this video. Okay, do not throw that liquor away. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. So now, we're going to take it out. Okay, we're going to reserve the broth. As you can see, I just want to get tender, so usually it'll be like about 45 to 55 minutes, because this is a two pound pork shoulder, okay? Or if you don't have pork shoulder, you could get the ones that's already cut in the in the bags, or in the packets already. That's the broth, okay? Um, so now what we're going to do, we're going to gently, God, I hate this part, Ugh. Face because you know, pork like that is fat, you know, it has a lot of fat, you know. So, here we go. Oh, god, I hate this. And when I mean this stuff was popping me in my face, yes, that's why you see me. I have to stand back a little bit, but you can put it in the oven too. Okay, it's just as good if you put it in the oven, like around 375, lay in a, a, a bacon pan, drizzle it with a little or some oil, and just keep it in the oven covered and let it. It'll cook like that too. Okay, it's just as good, but we like it fried. Most of us like it fried. Either or, that's how you like it, okay? And we're gonna fry this until it starts getting golden brown, okay? I just had to step away from this, guys, because I, did you see that? Yeah, it's gonna pop you in your face. So make sure you have the cover, because that's gonna be your shield. <laughs> okay? Make sure that your oil is nice and hot, okay? So guys, as you could see, do you see how it got nice and golden? And you see, look at that. See that golden color? 
that's what that's what we're looking for. You know, I'm just adding some more pieces up in here. I just want to hurry up and do this. <laughs> Cook this for my husband. And I want to go to bed. You know when you don't feel like cooking sometimes? It's one of those days. But you know what? I said I wanted to come on here anyway. And let me record this so you guys can see it. Because that's what he was craving today anyway. Some Asian grill. Okay? You see that nice golden brown color? That's what you want. Okay? So you can start taking it out. Okay? Start taking it out. Putting it to the side. Okay? Of course, you, you definitely want to um, have uh, some napkins or something like that so you can capture some of that excess oil. Okay, I would definitely do that. This is so mouth-watering. So delicious, so flavorful. It's just something that Haitians love. A lot of Haitians just love it. It's just a staple, you know, in Haiti. And you know what? You can have it with so many things. You can have it with fried plantains. You can have it with black rice, Haitian black rice. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, so guys, remember I told you not to throw away that broth? Here it is, we're gonna make a sauce with that, okay? So I just got about a tablespoon of tomato paste, threw some onions in there with some oil, okay? I fried the tomato paste a little bit, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the rest of that broth and I'm gonna swirl it up in there. I'm gonna put all that broth in there, okay? And what you could do too, if the sauce is still a little too, too, too thick, you could add some water in it, okay? You don't have to season this because there's already enough seasoning from the time that you were marinating it and everything, okay? So there's no need to do any of that, okay? So what you're going to do is definitely stir it. And this sauce is so delicious. Another thing is they serve um, glue with pickles, which is like a Haitian pickled slaw with cabbage, carrot, shredded in a pickled, kind of hot, spicy, vinegar-like sauce. And it's so good with plantains, and it's so good with glue, okay? But I don't have no pickles. I do have something that I do put in. This is something different. You could use this too, okay? This is like a hot um, pepper sauce, which um, you can use. And I'll show you how to make this later on, okay? It's not Peakley's, but it's, it's that, that same category. But um, this is like a hot pepper sauce with um, Jamaican hot peppers, lemon juice, vinegar. If you don't have vinegar, you could use all lemon juice. You can use a combination of the both. Okay, so I'm going to take a little scotch bonnet. You don't have to do this. I just like heat. I do. I can't help it. Okay? And I'm going to take a little bit of that vinegar. And I'm going to put it in there for a little bit more acidity and a little bit more heat. That look good. Oh wow. Mm, mm, mm. That tastes good. Okay. Nice and rich sauce that you can have. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, okay, just to add an extra topping of flavor, I'm going to add some onions on top. Okay. And I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to cover it and walk away. And that extra onion is just going to add some extra flavor on top. And now we're going to have our grill here. I'm going to add a little bit of that sauce. Just a little bit. Not a lot. You just want to lightly coat it for some extra flavor. Oh my God. Just a little bit of that sauce to cover it. Not a lot, guys. You're not, you're not looking to make it so soggy. You just want to add a little bit. See how I'm doing it? Just like that. And toss it. Mm, 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 mm. You in for it, baby. Just keep tossing it. And now let me prepare the plate. Look at that. Baby, you know I'm going to dig in, right? 
yes, this is our glio. So delicious, so juicy. My husband wanted some plantains with it. Um, I'll show you how to do that one, two later. Okay, and this is our sauce that we're gonna have with our grill. Again, you could have this with Haitian black rice, which is called Juni avec poire John John. Um, no, not poire John John. I'm sorry, my creole's a little off. But anyway, let me taste this. Mmm, baby, so juicy. Look at that. Let me grab this piece here. Mm, 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 mm. Now that's delicious, and I know you're gonna love this, okay? But again, like I said, you can have this with salad too. You can have it with some um, rice and peas. You can have it with black rice. Do that, John, John. And this is our sauce, okay? Look at that. 